Hi everybody, this is Lynn with Lynn Scrap Shack. I've posted on Facebook several times different flowers that I've made and had people ask me, can you please do a tutorial? Well, I've promised the last two weeks that I would do one. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one. This is just some of the flowers that I've made. The roses, the uh, daisies, or, you know, I'm not sure what this is called, but this is what we're going to make tonight. All these other ones, maybe another day. But actually, all of these flowers, except for the roses, are made with the same punch. And that is the daisy punch. You can use a punch if you use cut files, CV, uh, CVG files, or excuse me, SVG files, or um, you can cut them that way. It doesn't matter. Then you can decide what size you want to make it. I'm using a smaller one of the Daisy Punch. This is what I'm going to use, this one. I'm using white tonight. White, I can make it any color I want. And I usually have a lot of these cut out ahead of time. And this particular one, we're going to make purple. I'm going to use this color. So let me clear all this off of here. But what we're going to do is make these little flowers right there. If anybody saw my mini album that I had on Facebook, you saw the little butterflies. I don't know if you can see see them very well. Mm -hmm, right there. Can you see it very well? Anyway, it's uh, all that is is a punch. I punched it out twice, one in printed paper, uh, pattern paper and one in solid. Cut out the little body, put it together, and all that's on here is, uh, see there's, there's nothing on the back, but all that's on here is glossy accents. Let it dry. You can put as many layers as you want. As it dries, I just, as it starts getting drier, I start forming it. You get it too thick, it's going to crack on you, so just be careful. But that's all that is. It's glossy accents on there. We have a little shiny. It adds dimension, and I think it's a pretty neat effect. But that's how I did that one. So let's clear all this off. So magically, I'm going that way with it. Okay, let's see here. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with one of the, the daisies. To make one of these cute little things, you need six of these. So six of them, um, cut them out, pre-punch them, however you want to do it. And then all I'm going to do is take my ink, and I want to ink the edges. Or you ink it any way you want. You can ink it just, you can ink just the tips you know and have it white but I usually do it like this and it doesn't matter how much you put on or how much you don't put on to make it darker or not when it's all said and done it's just going to have that it'll have effect you see see the bottom and you want to do the back and the front because you can see both the back and the front do show so, put as much as you want on. That's all you do. You ink six of them. Now, I did, uh, I did pre-did some things so it would go faster for uh, the video. And I pre-inked, I just pre-inked uh, 12 of these and it took me four minutes. So, I can tell you how long it takes a flower to make a flower. Then, I, what I do is I clip into each, in between each petal. What this is going to do is give us some more way, uh, more leeway, more flexibility for the petals to form upward, like so. Take your stylus. I have, I use, I just have these. There's different, you can see there's different balls on each end. Take about the medium one. The bigger ones, I'll use the bigger stylus on it, but this is about the smallest one I use. And all you do is use your stylus and start breaking down the paper using, see I've been inking, it's forming it a little bit like so. Alright, and this is, all this is right here is a mouse pad turned upside down and that gives you the spongy stuff. I have a, a friend that sent me some other stuff and I hadn't used it yet. And, um, just something that gives, it has some gift to it. So, thanks, Gina, for sending that to me, too. Just hadn't used it yet. Now, to make it 
this shape. I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to bend up against it all the way in, bend up around the toothpick and I just sort of kind of roll it. And you roll it. I'm not going to do all six flowers that I'm going to use for this. I'm going to um, just do this one. I already have some pre-made for you. Like I say, so it'll go faster. And like so. That's all we're going to do. Then I go back and sort of kind of get down closer with my hand, fingers, and yeah, let's see here, get a little further in there. This is so it comes up to the center better. All right. Then, got them facing up, curled up, turn it over. And we're going to bring it up to the middle. All this does, it just forms it, it brings that paper, breaks it out. And then I'm going to do six of them like that. Um, six is the minimum I use. You can use less. You can use more. It's just how what I use to make this. This particular one. Make sure that they're turned upside down. The curve or whatever. Is, it pulls it up. That's all we're doing. How many have there? Five. There's six. I'm going to do one more for good measures, just in case. This one I'm going to cut too far in. I've had one fall off before, but as many layers you put in there, it's not going to hurt if one, one of these little petals falls off. I use um, Scotch or Tacky Glue. Two, well, several reasons. One, I like this one. I like this, this medium. Um, it dries pretty quick. It'll hold pretty quick. And... Um, I like that about it. Once it does dry with these flowers, it works well because it makes it stiffer. All right. Let's uh, unclog my glue here. And I have quite a bit there. You put it up on the edges. What it's going to do is hold it in there. And you start stacking your flowers. And you want to stagger them as you stack them because you don't want them just cupped inside of each other. Well, trying to do it fast enough for the video, but slow enough that it doesn't come out strange looking. I want to look halfway right. And then I just push. I, I have did the circle in it before, but you see how it starts, it'll start pulling it together and it'll start stacking up. And I don't want it stacked up, I want it staggered. Put a little more in there. One more. Stagger it. Stagger, stagger. And all we're doing is stacking. You see that we're stacking it up. That's all this is. It's a very simple flower. It's the daisy punch, or if you have a daisy SVG, uh, use that SVG cut. Works fine for that, and I'm getting off center here. All right, it's stacking up. You see how this is? It looks good over here, but not so good over there. What I'll do is I'll stack from the bottom now, just to even it out. There's no, there's no rule. I mean, you can stack them upside down, inside out, upside down, whatever, you, whatever you like. And I just sort of kind of make sure I have over there staggered where it that looks funny. And I do like so. Put it down. It's still, I don't like the way it's doing that. I want it changed or. There we go, let's see. Still didn't. Still got those two that are lined up. I don't like that, but sometimes not a whole lot you can do. I don't like the way the bottom looks, so I'm going to do another one on the bottom. And put it where I think I want the petals to show up, like so. And push down. And it's still lining up. I don't want that. It's being ornery tonight. It's not one to cooperate with me. It's only because I'm showing you how to do it, so it's going to be a boogaroo. All right. 
right. Look at that with six. I still don't like the way it looks. I mean, y'all might like it. And you can stop, but I'm weird. Let's see. I want that staggered look. I'm not getting what I want. Maybe that'll do it. And what it does, I have so much glue in there that it's coming up through the petals, which is fine. That's what you want. That's not going to show. It's going to uh, dry clear. I just sort of kind of separate everything so it'll be a little fuller. Can use your toothpick to separate it or your call it the poker, your piercing tool. This is my expensive tool here. And I separate a little bit, but the glue coming up in here, up between the petals, is what's going to make it stiff once it dries and um, make your flower stay together better and not be, not, not get broke down so easy because, and that's it. And then I put the side and let it dry. But that's, that's all this is. And I, you can still move the back side, but these, these are pretty stiff in here. And um, that's good for cards or, or your scrapbooks, so it won't get smashed so easy. But that is all there is to this one. And, and very simple. Very, very simple. One little daisy. From this to this to this. And that's it. If you have any questions, you can email me at lynnscrapshack at yahoo.com. Look at, uh, check out my Facebook page or uh, look me up on Facebook. Appreciate you checking out the video. Thanks. Bye.